I'm very flattered because Kelton has been very energetic and I mean laughing and helping people and uh, sort of dumb and sort of happy-go-lucky and Dark Corners is a, a man that wants to help all these people and that's Kelton, only Kelton was young, he didn't know how to do it. But now, and let's put, put it this way, dark corners, Calton is more, shall I say, more of a man, and he can afford to buy some donuts or buy something for help people. I think every scene in dark corners is important. And I'm so happy to be almost every corner at the same time. After seeing it and talking, I uh, didn't think that whether or not Kelton would be um, a good character for it. And then by looking through it and thinking about it, I said, well, hell, I mean, Kelton will be there right now and get him and buy him a cup of coffee or something. It made, it made me feel that uh, it was a part for Kelton. And I was very happy that, uh, uh, that they accepted me in it. I just acted uh, afraid. <laughs> was nothing doing about it. I mean, uh, he wrote the script, and uh, I, and as I, uh, what I was doing, and and uh, being ex being nervous and whatnot. It was basically me, and uh, I had a drama teacher at the, uh, at, um, at the time that uh, I gave him my interpretation about it. He said, don't do anything. He said, I said, well, I'm, I'm all excited. Well, you're excited right now, aren't you? That's Kelton. Dark corners. I'm helping people. I'm being nice to them. I'm helping and doing this, and that's Kelton basically. And I, I think, being Kelton of Edwards, is I don't think it's going to be different of Dark Corners because he will be being very very happy to do the things. Um, I can say it by one word, no. I had no one in, uh, of all the actors and all the, shall I say, actors, not stars, I'm all, anybody. I had, did not co copy anybody. Uh, yes. I've met a lot of wonderful people, and uh, I'm so happy to be, shall I say, connected. Very happy to, that they picked me out. Very happy to uh, write any scripts with Kelton, and I only hope that I can do a good job and make them proud of me. He was a good boy. All of a sudden, you became tough, huh? <laughs> I said, what do you mean? But after all, Calton was always nervous and wondering, and here I am in a nor thing. I think he was, a, well, you changed 
you, you, you're, you're great. I mean, I knew you can do it. You're not a one actor that can only be one. I can see him yelling and screaming, and don't say anything. You done it. You done it. That's Ed, you know. And uh, well, if anybody accepts me in, shall I say, dark corners, that's I would be very happy because it'll make Ed happy because I can see Ed like this. He just like a drummer. Paul, Paul. He just, uh, in fact, he's always called me most of the time. Calvin, 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 Calvin. Yeah. All of a sudden, you become a tough man. No, 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 no. Yeah. And I can just see him like this. So that would it would be. I know, I think he'd be very happy. Me, of course. <laughs> they don't know anybody else. <laughs> uh, no, <laughs> that's that's funny, but it's true. I mean, the uh, especially at the Christmas party, and uh, they say, "Gee, we didn't know you can do that." I said, "Gee, what do you think?" You know. Well, it uh, makes me feel grown up <laughs> because everybody thinks, after all, Kelton, you know, has spent, you know, 10 years of playing. Yeah. Now all of a sudden, I gotta get my gun out and let you have it, you know. <laughs> That's a hard thing to say. You know why? I think it's great, but that's because I look good. <laughs> if I didn't, I would give you another answer. Uh, I think the, the cassette is really sexy, flattering, and uh, I'll order 12 copies, sir. I hope you give them to me. <laughs> uh, I I think uh, I think the, the 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 cover shows it, it really does show Paul Marco. It shows that I grew up, if you want to put it that way. Calton would never, shall I say, grow up. He was just Calton. It was always just Paul, and all of a sudden, you get me putting a gun on you in the face, you know. Uh, Calton <laughs> didn't know what to do with, with a, uh, as a, with a gun, you know. But um, I think by Calton, basically, I think the people that I get fan mail, uh, but, Believe it or not, the, the, from, let's say, Italy, and London, Canada, and all that, the fan mail is all basically the same. That Kelton, you know, he's, he's so, so cute. There's on the, line, on the wall there, there's a woman there, has, uh, in Canada, has Edward's as her license plates. I mean, I feel very, very happy when I hear them. I, I really mean places I've never heard of getting a letter and just all the spam mail in there is, gee, really? Does this Carlton, the, you know? I, I, I guess he's only, you know, little Carlton, but it's something that just, they like, it was not made, it wasn't uh, uh, invented. I guess basically it was uh, Paul Marco. And, uh, and I feel very, very happy about it. But coming to this, and it's like growing up, like I gra graduated. And I feel doing this, I feel I'm Kelton. Father, you know. <laughs> well, 
Well, of course, I, 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 everything, uh, me in it is great. <laughs> I can't afford them. <laughs> I mean, not unless the <laughs> producer buys them for me. <laughs> Just make a hint to him. He says, you want to be good friends to Paul? Tell him, send a dozen <laughs> donuts once a week <laughs> and you'll be really uh, very, very well liked by Paul. 